80 WCAB. It's Jack's Cafe on a beautiful Tuesday. Get out and enjoy it just a little bit. Jack Baldwin on this side along with my uh, trusty sidekick. Chris Poublon hitting all the buttons, making it all sound good and uh, just having a good time. Uh, We missed her last week, but she's here today. Just in time for some great ideas for the long holiday weekend. Our own trendy mommy, Anne-Marie Selden, joins us now. Hi, Anne-Marie. Hello, how are you? Oh, I missed you so. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I, I hope everything is going well I, on, yeah. on the other end. Good, 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 good. Great good. weekend coming up. Weather yeah. not so good. No, oh, now that now that it's turned a little bit. Saturday may be a little bit, but we may see sunny and eighty on Monday. I'm oh, thinking that would be wonderful. Beach day. Each day gets better and better. <laughs> I, I hope so. Well, you know, it is Memorial Day weekend, which is the, I guess, the unofficial, or in my mind anyway, official kickoff of, of summertime. That it long is. holiday weekend, you know? Yes. Yeah. So, you Get know. We have our sunscreen ready. Well, this, I knew we were going there, you know, because <laughs> uh, this, uh, there's nothing worse than going out and being in the sun for the first time. Um, it, it's almost like, you know, that first snowfall. You forget how to drive. We, we forget that you don't have to be out in the sun for all that long after the long, cold winter of being inside that we had. That you're gonna... You know, not all sunscreen is created equal, I have to say. Yeah. There's a lot of the spray sunscreen that's out where you just spray your – which is great if you have really little kids, but you spray them as they're running away. But you do have to be really <laughs> careful. What I usually do is I load them up with – the regular lotion that you rub in, yeah. and then as a reapplication, I do the spray. Uh, do you try to, you know, lather, lather the kids? <laughs> it's coming out wrong. Uh, put the, apply the sunscreen before you leave the house if you're heading to the beach? Yes. Yeah, so you should, I mean, uh, even the directions on most sunscreens will say apply at least 15 minutes before sun exposure. Yeah, yeah. So that kind of kind of coats them a little bit. Uh, but it's hard. I mean, kids are little. Some kids don't like sun, sunscreen. They don't like the feel of it on their skin. Um, and, you know, you, the, I think people forget that you do have to keep reapplying. That's the, that, you know, that's the trick. You really have to. If you're going to be out for long periods of time, you really do need to reapply. Is there any rule of thumb about that? I guess if, if you're in the water for a while, I think they, they tell you, you know, you should probably reapply. Well, even you know, on directions on one of the sunscreens I'm looking at, it says reapply after 80 minutes 80. of swimming or sweating immediately after towel drying or at least every two hours when exposed to sunlight. I would say every hour, though. Yeah, it's a good idea. I would. We're really big on the uh, the spray ones, but it's they don't to... last. With three kids, they're, you're, you're out of the can within a weekend. <laughs> well, that's, uh, yes, yeah. and that's the other. I mean, they are very convenient. You, know, you just spray it on, and yeah. some of them you don't even have to wipe, wipe it. You know, wipe on. You just spray it, and it's great if you have really little kids because they're running away, and you can spray them in the air. And it's a little bit lighter than the um, lotion sunscreen, but I do like to start with a good foundation, like rub the lotion in first, right. and then as the reapplication, um, you know, spray it on. You know, even I like the, the spray ones because it's it, like you said, so it's quick and easy. You know that. Uh, not but the, you do run out quick. Yeah. And, yeah, you could yeah. use a whole bottle. If you have a family of four, that whole bottle could be gone by the weekend. Yeah, and here's uh, Jack's uh, handy tip of the day. You don't want to be spraying that stuff right onto your face. <laughs> and also make sure you spray it Shut in a well-ventilated first. area. I get, you know what? I found that out firsthand. I was in the, in the bathroom. You're like, do 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 I go, <coughs> oh, yeah. I made that mistake last year. I was doing it in the living room. And you and, get the uh, whole yeah, well-ventilated yeah. area is the key. Off comes my lady. Chris, what are you doing? <laughs> You're supposed to go outside and do that. And, you know, the ingredient list, that's another big thing that's about, among the topics of discussion among mommy bloggers. You know, I you look for more natural ingredients, yeah. and oxybenzone is one that's a you know tricky ingredient. I always look for ones that are oxybenzone free. Yeah. And if you have sensitive skin, you want to use maybe zinc oxide as a you know one of the better ingredients. Well, remember all the rage a couple of years ago was you, you looked for something with, with paba free, whatever the heck paba was. You didn't want it. I don't in think your... I don't think they make. That. No, they probably. I, I, yeah, you definitely want to look for that because that's like an irritant. Oh. All right. Now, do you find that some, you know, especially around the, you know, the face and the eyes and stuff like that, you got to be so careful because if you get a little suntan lotion in, in your eye, it could ruin your day. Oh, yes. It gets cloudy it's yes. and it can sting. You want to rinse it immediately with water. 
Um, and that, yes, I, that's why I like the sticks. I think the sticks oh, are really good. Yeah. Um, that you can just kind of rub in the cheeks, especially for little kids. Um, goes on easy on the ears. Um, and you're less likely to um, rub it in. Always kind of stay away from the eye area. Yeah. Um, with the kids, it's hard because you really want to, you know, get it right, right, you know, cover every single aspect of their face. Um, but the sticks work really well. Are there any that come to mind that you've seen that you you like? Because, I, I, you know, a lot of people just grab the stuff from the local wherever, you know, uh, pharmacy. Uh, right. So I have three that I, my three favorites, and I've talked about them before. Okay. Super Goop is one. They do Super have a great Goop. stick. Um, and they also have for, um, you know, older, oh, oh, um, I shouldn't say older women, but women. There's a <laughs> um, City Sunscreen Serum, which is very light. It goes on really easy. And as everyone really should be wearing a SPF on a daily basis. Yeah, and I always get yelled at by my doctor. That's really yeah. light that goes on right underneath your makeup. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the stuff that I use, my my moisturizer has a, uh, I think it's either a 15 or a 30 in it anyway. Yeah, like at, least you, at least you want, yeah. want a 30. Yeah. Um, but Bow Botanicals is another one. They have a, a sunscreen stick, and that's made with zinc oxide, ah. um, which is a great, great line as well. And then Kiss My Face. <laughs> which is available at Whole Foods. I love those names. Yes. Do you carry Kiss My Face? <laughs> oh, so it's really, yeah. That, that's, those are, there's no no, one, you no. know, there's no, this line, Kiss My Face, is no parabens, no artificial fragrances, and no chemical um, sunscreen ingredients. And that, that one, that one's available at Whole Paycheck? At Whole Paycheck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, price-wise, I don't think it's that bad. It's no. not. And what about you the know, other? On average, for a good spray sunscreen, you're going to pay 8 to $10. Yeah. Yeah. That's the yeah. other thing. The cost of sunscreen is, is you know, uh, like I said, on average, it, for a spray bottle, you know, we're, we're looking at six ounces, maybe eight ounces, about $9. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I, not that I'm, you know, getting any money from the from the Target people, but some of their off-brands, they have an off-brand uh, spray. It has, it's like their their own brand, I guess, is, instead of off-brand. But off-brand's the title, right? Isn't it what you call it? Um, you know, yeah. Their, yeah, their own Generic, brand. Generic, like yeah. CVS has their, you know, their CVS line. Actually, that one's pretty good, the clear sunscreen yes. spray. Yes, yeah. Uh, my daughter is not allergic to that, and she has really sensitive skin. So that's the other thing. A lot of kids are allergic to some of the ingredients in the sunscreen, so you really have to be careful. Yeah. You'll find out very soon. <laughs> <laughs> if they break out in little red red uh, Yeah, blotches red and dots, dots everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think more so for um, allergy, zinc is pretty. Um, a lot of the baby sunscreens that you see on the market now is made with zinc. And what about the Supergoop stuff? Is that uh, that online? That is online, supergoop.com, okay. and also available at Sephora. Oh, well, then that means Sephora equals expensive. <laughs> it's not that bad. Is it is a little high on the... No, it's not bad? No, I'll go online right now just to check. I haven't been on it. Um, I just I load up on, on that just because I love it. Yeah. I think it's um, a great line, and it works. Yeah, you don't want to mess around with your skin. You know what... I, I, this is also going to be a time where, you know, a lot of people go into the beach or go into the lake or, or, or out by the pool. You know, we're always grabbing our sunglasses, you know. But should, how do you come in on that with kids and sunglasses? First of all, I bet you lose a gazillion of them. But, I mean, their eyes have to be just as affected by, you know, being out in, in the sunlight as, as ours do. I wear mine at night. Yeah, thank you, Corey. <laughs> thank, thank you, Corey Hart. It's hard because kids get really annoyed, if, especially when they're – I remember when kids were younger, they were driving in the car – and they, if we didn't have a sunshade on there, they needed something. Yeah. And sometimes they'll even borrow my sunglasses if it's really bothersome for them. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, my daughter has glasses, so it's a little bit more oh. difficult for her to wear yeah. gl- sunglasses. Right, 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 right. I mean, and, with so many kids having glasses now, sometimes yeah. they'll get the prescription sunglasses. Oh, I don't even want to think. Because <laughs> yeah, I know how expensive it gets. Yeah. Yeah. What about, are you a big fan of, you know, like uh, hats and stuff, too, for the kids? Love hats. Yeah. Any type of hat, especially ones that have a wider brim with an SPF in it. Um, Wait a minute. So you can get the SPF built right into the, yeah, the, the, some of them the, are, the material um, of the hat? Yeah, really, really, really good. Um, I always, you know, baseball caps, if it has like a wider rim on it, are, are always good. I'm always trying to get my kids to wear hats. And it's, when they're young, it's great. But when they yeah. start to get older, they don't like them, not so much. Mm. Although, you know, hats are kind of trendy right now. You know, some of the, you know, Cuban-looking fedoras and stuff like that. Yeah, look, look I have very, a few of those myself. Yeah, I like, I like mine. Very stylish. Yep. 
So what are the big um, big plans around? Cover ups, yep. you know, cover ups oh. are made um, are, are a big thing right now, and they're made with SPFs as well. Hmm. And you see a lot of kids, especially up, you know. Uh, way at like Hampton and Seabrook Salisbury because uh, the water still gets uh, uh, you know a little bit chilly the kind of lo- long sleep I'm not really sure whether they're wetsuits or not but they, they kind of look like them right you know there's a couple websites out there that sell really great ones um Kula bar is one it has the SPF right built right in the clothing um that's a great it's a great line and then Cabana Life is another one they they're called rash guards you're probably thinking of the rash guard okay that's what it's called see you, I knew you would know that <laughs> So they um, uh, um, they have a great um, cabanalife dot com has a great um, they have the suits that have the SPF in them um, and they have you know, for boys girls men and women they have accessories and they actually sell hats and sunglasses on their site as well. Sto- stole my name. I am living the cabana life. <laughs> I am your personal cabana boy here. Daily on 980 WCAD. And I like how they have it for the whole family, so it's kind of like a one-stop shop. Oh, really? So that's, I'm going to go on that site when I get out of here. Cabana Life, just like yes. it's .com? C-A-B-A-N-A-L-I-F-E dot com. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So what's, uh, what's the plans for the fam for uh, the, the uh, long weekend? Our pool opens officially. We had to go online the other day and sign up for all the swim lessons, dive lessons, swim team, tennis uh, team. <laughs> so we know we. Team, so that was a little stressful. Um, in our town, we were laughing because if you have more than two kids, it becomes a logistical nightmare to figure out the scheduling of all of the um, of all of the lessons. So that opens this this weekend. Hopefully, we'll get some. Some nice weather. Well, if we get that eighty degrees on Monday, that's that's definitely uh, you know a good pool day. Absolutely, we'll be there. Awesome, awesome. Anything going? Uh, anything else going on? Anything that's come by your desk that is well, really? You know, speaking of summer, you know, a, a, a tan is never healthy. So a lot of people are into the self tanning nowadays. Uh huh. And there's a couple of lines that I'm going to be testing out. Um, one of them is actually an anti aging self tanner, which is relatively new yeah. um, in the product line of self tanning. Um, and a lot of them are easier to use. They're tinted. Um, self tanner so when you put them on your skin you can actually see the color go on hmm. which makes it a little bit easier so that you're not skipping spots on your body excellent and oh. this one is called um, by it's skin respect by vita liberata hello skin respect you respect um, your I skin you do sell this at sephora as okay. well yeah cool but the website is v-i-t-a l-i-b-e-r-t-a dot com uh, self tanners have come a long way from uh, back in the day of the uh, the QT, where you know, oh, are you supposed to be orange? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, and yeah. it's, the application has become a lot easier. Yeah, you see, um, it's a lot easier to use. I do like the ones that are tinted because, like I said, you could see them on your skin, and it just makes it a little bit easier, and it gives you a nice glow. And that way, especially for for people who are very fair, right. going into the sun for the first time in the summer, um, you know, it gives you a little color. You have to be careful, though. There's there's rarely, unless you're using a self tanner that has SPF, you really have to apply the SPF. As well, Some yeah. Get it's, fooled because they may have a tan and think, oh, I'm protected, and it's not. You know, sun worshiping has certainly come a long way from the days of uh, putting a baby oil with uh, a couple drops of iodine. You, you'd yes. be better off just basting yourself. <laughs> you know, in- butter and going out you know. uh, if we only knew if we and only remember knew. i don't know that line there was um i think it was band of soleil there was that line it had the orange in it yes it was like an orange gel yeah and that would kind of turn your skin yeah they, that, that was like color it's like benzene i think they something. still sell that as well really <laughs> oh boy with uh, an spf2 maybe i mean <laughs> yeah negative F- spf why bother uh, is there a rule of thumb w- with the kids you know the spf because some people y- you hear say that anything over x is just wasted. So you, a 30, okay? Yeah, or I mean, really, less, you're a baby. Not, you know, 30 to 50, a lot of the kids do have the 50, but anything over that is not. I mean, sometimes you'll see it with 100. It seems like the more um, higher the SPF, the more chemicals it has in it. Yeah, so a 30 yeah. is fine. All right. Emory, always great information. Have a great holiday weekend, and we'll uh, talk next Tuesday. Sounds great. And I'm glad everything is, is, Happy uh, Memorial is good. Day. Same to you. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.